Hey, what's up everybody? Freebooter here. And this is some stuff that I sold and also a few pickups from the flea market. I'm a flea market caretaker and I'm buying all of my inventory at the flea market right now. So first let's take a look at what we sold on eBay. This is the stuff I'm shipping out tomorrow. First we got a little knife. Now I am always looking for pocket knives and tiny little knives. This is a Christie, that's C-H-R-I-S-T-Y, and it is a tiny, tiny little knife. And I forget what you call this kind of knife. You can see like inside it like that, like the blade is actually in there. Now, this is a little lock here, so it's locked right now. You press down on that, and that slides out like that. I paid, I think it was like a dollar or something like that out at the flea market. It was a while ago. It took me, for some reason, it took me forever to post this. But it came with the actual, the original case. Hey there, I'm making a video. And it also came with the original instructions, how to remove the Christie blade, and I think that's all it says. And it's the, the original warranty. So pretty rare to find. But if you find just the knife, you can get about 20 bucks for these. With the case and the paper, I got $35 free shipping on that really cool little knife Christy next we sold this lot of little figures or actually we didn't sell this lot of figures this is actually kind of funny so I was trying to get $40 for this lot of figures there was two things that I did wrong in this listing first I should have done more research on this Nylant guy now Nylant is similar to Tonka they make uh, the same size trucks and a lot of people don't know that Tonka actually did make action figures. And these guys fit in their metal trucks. What happened was somebody bought the entire lot for $40 and said, Hey, um, I only want that Nyland guy, so could you just refund me $20 and I'll pay you $20 for that one figure. So I'm actually shipping this one little Nyland guy out for $20 and I'm just going to relist the rest of these. The other thing I did wrong, I can't even believe that I did this. <clears throat> This is so ridiculous is these are not all Tonka guys and I know this because this, these right here you can tell by the pose I didn't even bother reading the leg but yeah I'm sure those of you who are smart recognize this pose these are Fisher Price adventure people these are not Tonka this is not Tonka this is Fisher Price adventure people now you can see the difference here <clears throat> they actually do have a very similar pose However, um, the Tonka guy's hand is more on the outside and like slips on the outside of his body more. The Fisher Price figure, that hand, uh, see, they're all, this is the uh, shifting hand because they all drive manuals. This is the shifting hand and this is the driving hand. So all of them were posed like that. Even though this is a swimmer, she's still posed like that so she can still drive. Um, yeah, so now I got to make a listing for the Fisher Price characters and a listing for the Tonka characters. What was I thinking? Anyways, it was pretty cool. Now I know that these Nylink guys can go for some money. 20 bucks for that one little guy. And what I think this is 70s. Is it 70s or 80s? Made in Hong Kong. He does not have a date on him. He ju it just says Nylink Hong Kong. I believe this is probably early 80s. Next we got super super cool little toy here. This is made by Marks and this is one of the Nutty Mads. Uh, this is Roddy the Hot Rod. Got this in a lot of toys out at the flea market. I saw so many sold listings for this for the Nutty Mads at like $14, $15. Now, you don't have to sell your stuff that cheap. Always keep an eye open for the company Marks. This says Lewis, Marks, and Co. on the bottom. Roddy the Hot Rod, Nutty Mads. Always keep your eye open for Marks stuff. Took about a month to sell, but I love this. This is the only Nutty Mad I've ever found in the wild, and it is really super cool. Next, we sold this cool Daisy. Powerline Model 1270 uh, CO2 BB gun. Now I actually sold this for 30 bucks as untested. I picked up these CO2 guns a bunch of times for pretty cheap. You can usually pick them up for like four or five dollars. 
and unfortunately I didn't have any CO2 or BBs to test this with so I was just like yeah just get rid of it so I sold it for 30 bucks probably could have got like 40 or 50 for it if it was tested and working perfectly next we got a pile of magazines and these are for mature viewers only so if you're not mature close your eyes um, these are biker magazines and they're made by Easy Riders Magazine Company. Now magazines are kind of like a, a staple. Like you should really look into buying and selling magazines because you can pick them up for like a dollar or less all the time. You can pick these things up for like 10 cents. I've seen them at thrift shops for like 10 for a dollar. And there's certain magazines that go for a ton of money. These, these didn't go for too much. They actually went for $60 for the lot of them. But I picked up like two huge boxes of this kind of magazine uh, out here at the flea market for free. That's all I'm shipping out tomorrow. It's actually been a slow couple of days. Th that's all I sold over the last two days. But I did pick up some cool stuff from the flea market. So this is kind of funny here. Um, this guy actually sewed these hands together. But what we have here is an underdog Yes Club doll and a Pearl Pure Heart. That's a Mighty Mouse's girlfriend doll right here. Now I think, you know what, actually, I'm not really gonna tell you what I can sell these for. I used to tell people what I think I can sell stuff for, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to see how much I can sell these for, and in a later video, I will show you exactly how much I sell these for. Next, and this is pretty cool, because I actually just sold another one of these Crypt Keepers. Not this exact one, but I did sell a Crypt Keeper a couple days ago for $65. I paid five bucks for this, not going to tell you how much I think I can sell it for, but I will get back to you after I sell it. Here we got a plush from The Little Mermaid. This is Scuttle. And not much to say about this. I bought this for 50 cents, and then they had a box full of plushes. I paid. I probably should have bought more because they had some other interesting ones in there. But the other ones were probably like $10, $15 plushes. I didn't really want to mess with those. Plushes can sell for a good amount of money, but you got to be careful because they're usually pretty big and they can take up a lot of room. And I live in an RV, so I don't want to take up too much room. Next we got a Sonic the Hedgehog doll. I'm always into Sonic the Hedgehog. Every time I see a Sonic doll for cheap, I'm usually picking it up. Um, this is made by Toy Network, Viz Media. Another 50 cent doll. There's a lot of crazy Sonic fans out there. Then we got this cool Felix doll. Felix the Cat, 2001, Felix the Cat Productions, another 50 cent plush, pick up plush, everybody underprices plush, they think they're worth 50 cents or a dollar, one really they're worth, you know, 10 to a hundred dollars or, you know, some, something ridiculous. Next, I paid five bucks for this, and this I actually got from one of my friends. I have a bunch of reseller friends who I, I always give good deals to other resellers, and they give me good deals, because they know what I want, and I know what they want. So this guy knows that I'm into toys. So this is, is a little thing. He picked up this at a yard sale for like, I think he said he picked it up for like 50 cents or a dollar or something. And this is some really interesting stuff. So let's check this out real quick. First we got this Fisher Price action figure, X-Ray Woman. Again, I'm not telling you how much this stuff is worth, but if I do sell it, then you will know at that time. Next we got some Mego Micronauts and this is really really cool. This is the first time I've ever picked up Micronauts in the wild. Never seen them in the wild before. To the untrained eye, to the uh, beginning toy collector, they kind of look like a G.I. Joe or something like that. But these actually came out in the 70s. And really really cool figure. This guy is super rare. Clear green. I will go into that more in the future. Mego, Mego Micronauts, my first ever find of uh, Micronauts in the wild. Super cool. I paid five bucks for this whole thing. This guy, I don't know who it is, but it looks like a, an early 80s ripoff of He-Man or something like that. No brand name on him, so it's probably a knockoff. Face hugger from a Kenner Ripley. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is. We got a Beetlejuice figure with the tiny head. <laughs> we got a, this is a newer figure, the Hulk. It's probably not worth anything. We got a 1982 Remco. I can't remember what this figure is either. 
can't remember his name, but uh, any 80s or 70s figures, I always pick them up. This, I believe, is Dungeons and Dragons 1983 TSR LJN. TSR is usually Dungeons and Dragons. They did some other stuff too, but usually Dungeons and Dragons. And here's another Tonka figure. We got the Fireman Tonka. This guy's really well used. And we got an A Team figure made by Canel. I think that's how you pronounce it C A N N E L L. Canel Products, 1983. That dude's from the A Team. Can't remember his name. If you know his name. Leave a comment and subscribe. Um, General Foods, we got a little 1980s little General Foods snake. Sugar snake or something like that. Monster guy. Got a Maisto bus, probably not worth anything. Got a uh, Matchbox car, pizza car, probably not worth anything. 2002, we got a uh, McDonald's toy. We got an Avon fragrance, Avon Productions clip. We actually got two of those. Let's see here. This is another one. Another Avon clip. What is this guy from? We meet again. Oh, she's handing me money. She's handing me money. I made some money. I made more money. Hey, here's a tip. If you ever want to make money on the side, have one of your friends hang out with you and let them sell stuff for you on Facebook and just give them a cut of it. I don't know what this is. It looks like something for Play-Doh. This is really interesting to me. I'm really into old like rubber robots and stuff like that. I don't know what this is. It looks like it's from the 70s. It's made in Hong Kong and it kind of looks like one of the quarter machine toys but it's kind of it's too big for that it seems it's got a suction cup on the bottom a really cool little toy love that kind of stuff tell me what this guy's name is uh he's lilo or stitch can't remember never watched that stuff that's lilo that's lilo little paw. this is stitch yeah okay that's stitch got another little car here hasbro maisto probably not worth anything maisto is a cheaper brand get the uh, matchbox and another thing is probably not worth a darn thing. I'll be selling this stuff out at the flea market. Ooh, Mini Cooper. That'll sell for 50 cents to a buck out at the flea market. And uh, Maisto. Oh, hey, we got another one. We got another uh, Avon clip. Interested to see if this is worth any money. It is, what is it, 1970. These are from 1970, so they are a bit old. Might be piecing those together. We got a wheel from something. I don't know what that is. We got another one of those Play-Doh things. It's like a mummy Play-Doh. We got uh, Airspin, a little Airspin toy. Got some binoculars. Got a knife. Oh, there was one thing I actually pulled out of here. I pulled out one of the Ninja Turtles. I pulled out the um, a belt for Michelangelo, actually. But my friend collects Ninja Turtle stuff, so I already gave that to him. We got two guns. This is actually from Alien. I'm, I forget which figure this goes to, but that's from Alien. I have no idea what that is to. <clears throat> this is really cool here. I've never had one of these before. It is a crash test dummy, and it doesn't look like it works very well. Let's see. Uh, it came with most of the parts here. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this on. Oh, man comes right apart. <clears throat> see, we get the leg goes on. Oh, that's backwards. Whoops. I love it when people start playing loud bass in the middle of my video. That's like half a mile away. Those guys get the thing pumping. How do you get this down? I think either this is broken or I just do not know how to put this thing together. So we got a crash test dummy. We got, uh, we got arms, we got legs, uh, we're missing the top part of that leg, and we got a head. And we got a little Lucy, I think that's from McDonald's. Nineteen sixty-six, maybe it's not. I don't know. We got the other arm to that A-team dude. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I don't think that guy's worth very much. We got a book. If you know what that book is from, tell me. We got a little thing. If you know what that's from, tell me. And 
that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Freebooter out. Peace. Turtle. Has the manual in there too.